Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. So the past couple of days, almost weeks, I've been working on actually quite a simple part. You can see it back there on my motherboard. That white part here is 3D printed. It's a shroud that I designed. But it wasn't as easy going as I first would have thought. In total I went through four different iterations. The closest one to the final product back there being this one and the iteration I started off was with was this. So in total I spent probably about 20 hours designing this. And in this video I'm gonna tell you some of the quirks and things that I went through and what you might want to consider if you want to do something similar. So first let's cover the basics. My goal was to create a cover for all the ugly parts and the blank PCB. Because my theme of my new PC is going to be mostly white and the PC and all the components are black. So I wanted a cover that on the other hand shouldn't interfere with any of the functionality. So that meant I would have to like build it all around the PCIe slots so I can use them freely. It shouldn't interfere with anything. I can install graphics code in any slot I want and everything is perfectly accessible. So what I started off with is just one PCIe slot here, one here, one here and the two 1x here and it would just like fit around. But as it turns out taking measurements and putting them in the correct spot in the side of the program is not as easy as it seems. And so I one no new this distance here, but the way I measured it on the motherboard was from here to here. And I put it in the software from here to here. And that's why this part was too long and it didn't fit. Then I went on to the next version where this part is significantly shorter. And I also went ahead and put a little cross brace here so it would look a bit better on the 1x PCA slots. But this thing didn't fit perfectly either. It had still had quite some interference issues with different components. So I took some side cutters and cut a little notches in there so it would fit on there mostly. But it still wasn't like perfectly fitting on and I wasn't happy with the look. So I spent another couple of hours inside of the program and came up with this monstrosity. You can see that it has is quite a lot of bigger. It has all the necessary cutouts, it goes up further. And the one major thing which interfered previously were this here is just like blank. Just like no, no holes at all in here. And here there are slots. And as it turns out graphics cards don't just slot into the PCIe slot but there are some other parts that protrude downwards further out to the back. So I had to make sure that these slots were in here so that the graphics cards would fit it in as well. I also added this thing up here near the CPU where I added a nice Witcher logo which as you may have already guessed is the theme of my new PC. Now this version was almost perfect except two things. One I screwed up a measurement again and made this part here too tall Again, I measured correctly but put it in, in the wrong spot. And the other thing is that the PCA still, still didn't line up perfectly. The calipers I bought were like pretty cheap, so I, it looked like, oh yeah, it's about 40 millimeters, so okay, it's probably like exactly 40, and they nicely spaced all the PCA slots with 10 millimeters apart. But as it turns out, it isn't as nicely. The PCA slots, at least on my motherboard, were spaced 10.1 millimeters. And so while the first couple of slots they would fit perfectly, by the last one it's like it was just off slightly and it wouldn't fit perfectly. So I redesigned all of that again and then I came up with the thing that's on the board now. And that one just fits on there perfectly. So this project was really interesting to me. Because I went through iteration for iteration, see what didn't work and made the changes in the program, got deeper and deeper into the woods and then I came up with this beauty. 
and I really think that it looks absolutely stunning in the motherboard. I also just made a simple IO shroud with some of the Witcher signs on it. This one was pretty straightforward though, as it's a lot less parts that are in the way. So I just was able to do that in one go. Now, sadly, every motherboard is different. So if your motherboard isn't an MSI XN99A SLI Plus, most likely all the work I did won't fit for you. I'm still gonna put a link down in the description with the links to the files and thingiverse, but unless you have the exact same motherboard, most likely it won't fit. And adapting it to a new motherboard sadly also takes quite a lot of effort because the parts are in different uh, places. And as you can see, like in some places here, it's just the top layer and in other places it goes down as well to like make it all nice and neat. And that all depended if there were some components that are interfering in that spot, if I could go down and if there's enough space. So even if just like one or two capacitors are in a different place on your motherboard, chances are that it won't fit. And the reason that I'm still just like preparing small stuff is I'm still waiting on my freaking package. Those of you that have been following me, I'm here in the US now for one and a half months and my package is apparently on the way back to Switzerland because they couldn't figure out where to put it, but it didn't arrive there either. So I don't know if that's ever gonna arrive anywhere, but there are some quite a few water cooling parts in there that I need for the build and I don't necessarily want to buy these again because they cost a couple hundred bucks. So I am still waiting on that, but if it doesn't arrive soon, I might just buy all the parts new and build the water cooling loop from the ground up. But for now, I'm just designing fun little parts like this to make the build just so much better. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe to see all the further parts of building that PC. You can also use my eBay, Amazon and all the other nice affiliate links down below to support me while shopping online without costing you anything. And of course my social media is linked down below as well. I post a lot of things like that on there. So if you want to stay up to date what I'm doing, check out my Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time.